Alright guys, in today's video, I explained and showed you guys how to do everything in the game. There's loads of features in a dusty trap. In this video, I showed you guys how to do everything. How to build the car, how to build the van, watch all the way till the end. But we're starting with building the car. If you guys want to build the car, I did speed up the video of me building the car. Make sure when you are building the car, put fuel in, make sure all of the caps on the engine, the, the cooler, as well as the gas, are closed. And yeah, as you can obviously see, we do end up making the car. And yeah, this is how you basically make the car, guys. Make sure that the car does have doors on. The reason why the car has doors is because when you do play the game, zombies can actually come and the zombies will go ahead and kill you if you don't have doors on so if you're in the car and zombies come they're just gonna kill you through the if there's no doors on the car that is why you put cars on the door to protect yourself from the zombies so it's really important that you do that you can always attach stuff on cars by pressing z the reason why you need to attach stuff on cars is because when you do play the game you do need to attach well, you basically need to attach fuel, water, and items to keep the car running. So make sure you use this attach part to attach stuff to your car. If you want to know how to make the van, this is how you make the van. The parts for the van are slightly different than the car. The engine goes inside of the van, not in the front. So just look at where I'm putting all of the car parts for the van because it is different. The parts are different for the car than the van. So yeah, just keep an eye on where I'm putting all of the parts. And if you guys do want big tires, you can actually put big tires on your van or car. But I highly recommend you don't do that because the big tires are pretty much fuel wasting. You just waste your fuel by doing that. So yeah, make sure you basically go ahead guys, copy what I'm doing. You can also clean your car by using the sponge as well. And yeah, just make sure you have all of the doors on your van. And just make sure you put in all of the parts correctly. If you guys have got a lot of Robux like I do, you can actually call in air supplies. If I'm going to be brutally honest with you, by doing this you are wasting your Robux. Because I did buy this and half of the stuff disappeared and half of the stuff was just terrible stuff. So yeah, if you guys need fuel though or anything like that, you can call in fuel, car parts, food and items. So this is really important that you guys can actually do this to actually go ahead and get yourself car parts, food, only do it in emergency. If you are driving the van or the car, there's actually a handbrake and the car will not move unless you press the handbrake down. This is so the car doesn't roll, so make sure that you basically put in the handbrake down like I did. There are stops around the map once you get to certain meters. Use these stops to actually collect water, diesel, gas, oil. Oil goes in the engine, water goes in the cooler. And gas goes in the car to actually fuel it. Make sure you are collecting these or else you will lose very quickly. Try not to crash your car because if you do crash your car like I did, something that will happen is that all of the parts will just disappear. Well, and you basically need to put them back on. And sometimes the tires do roll really, really far away and you end up losing them. And if you don't have a tire, you can't drive. So you have to restart the whole game all over again, which is why it's really important to collect stuff from buildings such as tires, Call and just collect as much stuff as you can because you never know when you might need it. If you are driving in the dark, there's actually a button that you can press that's on the dashboard. And by pressing this button, you can actually turn on the light so that you can actually see a lot more. That is why it's important to put headlights on the car because you can press the button like I did and then you can actually see in the dark. So it's really important that you guys do do that. If you are really, really lucky and you go into a building, you will see different types of engines. As of right now, guys, you do not need to switch diesel 
for these type of engines that I've got. So these engines do run on normal gas and honestly, they do make your car 10 times faster. But really easy to fit in. I highly recommend when you do switch these engines, keep the old engine because the oil does run it really, really quick. And if you do not keep your old engine and the new engine that you put in runs out, you always got backup, which is why you always keep guys extra car parts in your van or car attached. You can actually see that this car, once you do put in the engine, the speed and acceleration does double. I did end up getting over 180 miles an hour in the van. And keep in mind, guys, this is me driving and the footage is not sped up. This is how fast the car is. And you literally go so fast. So it's really rough trying to get new engines. When you go into buildings, you might be wondering, how do you kill zombies? There's two ways how you kill zombies, and that's by collecting dynamite. It is really important that you get dynamite, and I'll explain to you guys how to use it in a moment. You can actually spray paint your cars in the game, so if you don't like the colour of your car, guys, you can literally just change it to green, purple, or any colour by finding spray cans and run for map. If you guys hate zombies like I do, you will find these shields in buildings. You can use these shields to protect yourself from zombies and push them away. Because zombies in this game are so annoying. So that's how to protect yourself from them and I'll show you guys how to kill the zombies in a moment. This isn't really a feature, but if you do try and wash your car too much guys, the sponge actually turned dirty and you won't be able to use it. Pretty much a pointless feature, but the detail is really, really funny. If you guys want to be a pro like me and you want to kill zombies with TNT, basically this is what you want to do. So once you do click the TNT, the TNT is on a timer around like six seconds. So do not be afraid, just take your time and make sure you do what I've done. As you can see, I press the fuse at the last second, the zombie, you gotta be pretty close guys, just make sure you don't blow yourself up. But as you can see, we did kill the zombie there. If it's easier for you guys, get the zombies in the house, put the TNT in like I done. And then it just kills all of the zombies in the house, as you can obviously see. And if there's a zombie remaining, usually there's axes in buildings, just use the axe guys to kill the zombies. If you want to use the axe to kill the zombie, just keep on moving your screen to hit the zombie with the axe. So you basically gotta move the screen like I'm doing, you gotta keep on swinging it with your camera. And by doing that you swing the axe, which is pretty cool. There's some certain buildings where you do need to do some parkour to get up into the top buildings like I done. Because you might be missing out on loot if you don't do what I just done. So make sure you search in the whole building. If you do press Q on your keyboard, you can actually zoom in your camera. So this can help you find stuff at a distance as you can obviously see. And as you guys already know, sometimes guys you do get really really far in the game. But everything does come to an end. And yeah, you will at some point guys, you will die and that's when you have to start the game all over again so yeah at the end of the day guys that's how you do everything in the game by doing everything i done you will be able to get high scores in the game there's also glitches in the game where you can fly with like doors and stuff but i did do separate videos on that but yeah that's how you do everything in a dusty trip thank you guys for watching and yeah peace out